I now have the honor of introducing our keynote speaker. Ms. Anita Tunasco is a proud member of the Kitigan Zibi Anishinaabe, Anishinaabe Algonquin community located 150 kilometers north of Gatineau. Ms. Anita Tunasco is the Director of Education for Kitigan Zibi and has been working for her community for the past 22 years. Ms. Tunasco is a firm believer in First Nations control of First Nations education and lifelong learning. As well, Anita is passionate about the revitalization of the Algonquin language, history, culture, and traditions. And fin finally, Anita fully supports student success and believes that energy and persistence conquer all things. Please welcome Anita Nanesco. Good evening, everyone. What a special, memorable occasion tonight is. Anita Tanasco, Nindijnikaz. My name is Anita Tanasco. Kirigan Zibi Nindonjiba. I am from the Kirigan Zibi Anishinaabeg. The city of Gatno and this very museum is situated on the Algonquin Nation's traditional territory. With this being said, I welcome, welcome you all to Anishinaabe Algonquin Territory. Thank you all for being here tonight. It is an honor for me to be here this evening. I am the Director of Education for my community, and I value all forms of education. Graduations are near and dear to my heart. To give you a bit of my background, I come from a large family where my great-grandparents did not attend school. My grandparents did not complete elementary school, and my parents did not graduate from high school. My mother is a residential school survivor, yet she managed to carry out upgrading, and as a mature student, she attained an early childhood education diploma from Heritage College and a child and youth worker diploma from Algonquin College. Success in education comes down to perseverance and resiliency. Despite the fact that many of my ancestors did not complete a formal education, I graduated from the Kitigan Zibi High School in 1988. Following high school, I attended Heritage College in the Social Sciences program and I pr proudly graduated with my diploma in 1990. Heritage College was my home away from home when I left my community after high school. Heritage College fully prepared me for my studies at the University of Ottawa and for the world of work. Miigwech. Thank you, Heritage College, for making many efforts to welcome First Nations or Aboriginal students and for focusing on student success for all students. I am extremely happy to see that there are some First Nations students who are graduating tonight. I am also very pleased that these First Nations or Aboriginal students have added to the richness of Heritage College. Graduates, I would like to offer you some teachings. These teachings are called the Seven Grandfather Teachings, or sometimes they are called the Seven Gifts. Many First Nations refer to the Seven Grandfather Teachings as wisdom, bravery, respect, honesty, humility, love, and truth. These teachings exist in order to help people live a good life. The first teaching is wisdom. To cherish knowledge is to know wisdom. The second teaching is bravery. Bravery is to face the foe with integrity. The third teaching is respect. To honor all of creation is to have respect. The fourth teaching is honesty. Honesty in facing a situation is to be brave. 
The fifth teaching is humility. Humility is to know yourself as a sacred part of creation. The sixth teaching is love. To know love is to know peace. And finally, the seventh teaching is truth. Truth is to know all of these things. Remember these teachings and cherish this day. Remember the sense of pride and accomplishment that you take from it. Keep learning, keep trying, and keep accomplishing. Be proud of yourself. Many people never even start college, and many of those who do don't finish, but you did. Take time to laugh. Remember who you are and why you're here. You're never given anything in this world that you can't handle. Be strong, be flexible, love yourself and love others. Just keep moving forward in a positive way. Make sure that you treat your college diploma as a springboard, not a finish line. In my language, anguamizig, that means good luck. And I wish all of the Heritage College graduates here tonight the best of luck in your future endeavors. Make for yourselves extraordinary lives. Kichimi Gwech, thank you, merci.